ladies and gentlemen, fans of royalty and those of us who still dream of discovering we're secret princesses, the Princess Diaries is back. That's right, after twenty long years, we are finally getting the Princess Diaries three. And let me tell you, if you've been waiting, you're not alone. I've been counting the days since 2004, and today we're diving into all the juicy details. So buckle up your tiaras, because this news is absolutely magical. Who could forget when Anne Hathaway burst onto the scene as Maya Thermopolis, the awkward high school girl turned Princess of Genovia? And let's be honest, who among us didn't practice our royal wave after watching? But now Maya's story is continuing, and there's so much to talk about from the returning cast, Pot Theory's new director, and what we can expect from the latest royal adventure. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. First off, let's just take a moment to celebrate. The Princess Diaries 3 is confirmed. Tours is for audience reactions. Disney officially announced this in November 2022, and ever since, the excitement has been building. We've all been waiting to see Maya on the big screen again, and now the wait is almost over. What really got the ball rolling was the news that Crazy Rich Asians co-writer Adele Lim has been tapped to direct. If you've seen Crazy Rich Asians, you know that we're in for something special. Lim is all about female empowerment, mentorship and celebrating joy, which fits the Princess Diaries' vibe perfectly. So it's clear we're in safe hands. Now, what's the Princess Diaries without our Queen? Yes, Queen, because Anne Hathaway is back as Maya Thermopolis, the ruler of Genovia. Can we just take a moment? Pauses for dramatic effect. She's the one who made us fall in love with Maya's transformation from a clumsy high schooler to a confident princess and, eventually, a queen. And while there was a lot of speculation, Hathaway herself confirmed her return on Instagram, celebrating not only the movie's return, but also Adele Lim's involvement. It's like the royal family coming together again, and I'm here for it. Now, I know what you're all thinking. What about Julie Andrews? Queen Clarice, Mia's elegant grandmother, the woman who taught us how to be royal while keeping it real? Well, sadly, there's some uncertainty. In a recent interview, Julie Andrews expressed doubts about returning, mentioning the time that's passed and that both she and Maya are much older now. She's not sure how her character would fit in at this point, and I mean, we get it. But can you imagine the Princess Diaries without her? It's hard, but let's not lose hope entirely. Anything can happen. Plus, the Princess Diaries wouldn't be complete without the full ensemble, right? That brings me to another fan favourite, Nicholas de Vero, anyone? Yes, yes. Chris Pine has hinted that he's ready to come back as Nicholas Meyer's love interest from the Princess Diaries too. And I don't know about you, but I would love to see how their royal romance has evolved over the years. Just imagine Meyer and Nicholas ruling Genovia together. If Chris Pine's in... This might just be the royal reunion we've all been waiting for. Now, the Princess Diaries wouldn't be complete without Maya's best friend Lily, played by Heather Matarazzo. And guess what? She's on board for the third movie. Anyone else excited to see what Lily's been up to? Is she still hosting her talk show, or has she started a royal podcast? Either way, you know she's going to bring some sass back to the screen. And let's not forget Joe, Clarice's bodyguard and husband, played by Hector Elizondo. He's expressed interest in returning too, which means we could see more of his sweet, supportive relationship with Maya. And Mandy Moore's Lana, the high school bully, turned ally. She's also interested in coming back. Let's be real, this cast is shaping up to be an amazing reunion. The nostalgia is real, people. All right, let's talk story. This is where things get interesting, and though Disney hasn't revealed much, we've got a few clues. The third movie is expected to follow Maya's journey as a seasoned ruler of Genovia. But what else? One popular theory is that The Princess Diaries 3 could introduce Maya's kids. Yes, you heard that right. In the book series by Meg Cabot, Maya eventually has twins, and wouldn't it be fascinating to see how they handle growing up as royals? Will they be as clumsy and charming as their mum once was, or will they be pros at the whole royal thing? Either way, it would be a great way to explore family dynamics and legacy, especially with Maya as a mentor to the next generation. 
but then again, Maya could totally be child-free, focusing instead on her rule and all the challenges that come with being a modern monarch. Imagine Maya navigating international politics, Genovia's modernization, and dealing with the pressures of social media as a public figure. It would definitely add depth to her character and give us a look at how Maya's evolved as a queen over the years. Either way, you know it's going to be a mix of heartfelt moments, royal drama, and, of course, lots of humor. Whether we're seeing Maya mentor her own kids or take on the challenges of ruling Genovia solo, the movie is bound to give us those feel, good, laugh, out, loud scenes we love. Now, we've talked about the cast, the potential storylines, but let's not forget about the woman steering this ship, Adele Lim. For those of you unfamiliar, she co-wrote Crazy Rich Asians and directed Joyride, which means she's no stranger to stories about empowerment, family, and joy. Her hiring was such a brilliant move, and it's a huge deal that she's taking the reins of The Princess Diaries 3. She's already a fan of the franchise, and she's spoken about how excited she is to carry on its core messages of female power and mentorship. And honestly, can we get a round of applause for that? With Liam's vision and Anne Hathaway's return, the movie is shaping up to be something really special. I can already picture the lavish Genovian settings, the royal balls, the beautiful outfits, and the touching moments of growth and friendship that make the Princess Diaries so iconic. So there you have it. Everything we know so far about The Princess Diaries 3, it's been a long wait, but it looks like the magic of Genovia is coming back to the big screen in a big way. From the return of Anne Hathaway to the possibility of Maya's children, the royal drama, and a brand new director with a fresh take, I think it's safe to say we are in for a treat. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want to take a trip back to Genovia? We've missed the charm, the laughter, and, of course, those royal waves. So get ready to bow down, because The Princess Diaries is coming back stronger than ever. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to practice my own royal wave. Again, again, thanks for watching. And, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any more updates about The Princess Diaries 3. See you next time, royals.